On Drop Rate is a series all about testing my luck. Each episode I will pick one or multiple activities to do and one specific unique to get from those activities. But there is a twist. I am only able to do this activity until I am exactly on Drop Rate. Kill 5000 Lizard Men Shamans to get a Dragon Warhammer. Defeat 512 Venonatus to achieve a Treasonous Ring or loot 300 Rifts to obtain an Abyssal Needle are all ideas going by this rule. To spice it up even further, if I manage to get the item within the limited attempts, I get to keep everything I earned including the unique item. If I do not get it however, I have to forfeit half of all the money I earned during the grind to one of you guys, the viewers. But now, let's get into the video. Now before we get into the video, a quick shout out to the sponsor of this video, Opera GX. Opera GX is an amazing browser with a bunch of features, so let's go over some of my favorite ones. Now one of my favorite features is the social tabs on the left side. Click sidebar setup and choose whatever social medias you want on the left side. Twitter, Discord, Facebook Messenger, you have it all. After that, all you need to do is click on any of them and instantly access them with just one click. If you're a person who's ever thought about streaming, I would recommend going to settings, manage GX profiles, add a new profile, choose rogue down here, which will clear all your browsing history every single time you close the browser and name it whatever you want, add new profile, and this profile right here is going to be added to your taskbar as well as your desktop. Now you know that relatable moment as someone who studies a lot of researchers, you go to Wikipedia, you press this and you get absolutely flash banged by the white background. Well, Opera GX have you covered if you click on the right side here, you can go to force dark pages, which makes every single page so nice to look at. Another awesome feature on the same location as the dark mode on the right side here is the custom wallpapers. I currently have the Lost Ark Bard one, but you can change it to really anything you want. You can add your own as well. Now I do know that most of you guys are RuneScape Andys who love to click on rocks every single day for 10 hours, but if you do want to try a new game or just keep up to date with new releases, you can click on the top left GX corner and they will keep track of all the new releases for you, news and also even free games that you can try out. Opera GX is also on mobile and you can download this for free on any app downloading store and it is just as smooth of an experience on the phone as on the PC. But thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring the video. Click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment to download Opera GX for free as well as supporting my channel in the process. What is going on guys? Welcome to another episode of the On Drop Rate series. In this episode we're actually taking on another Slayer boss, the second one of the entire series after the Alchemical Hydra, and this time we're taking on Cerberus. The item we're going for in this video is the Pegation Crystal, the one in 512 drop, and it is only worth 46,000 GP at this current point, but there are a bunch of other items this boss drops that are worth a lot of money. Albeit a bit expensive, with the scythe charges, this is the gear for the fastest kills I'm going to be using. And the scythe actually has a crush setting, which I'm going to be using rather than the slash one. And that is why I have the inquisitor gear. I'm also going to switch the ferocious gloves close to a kill with the bracelets of slaughter to extend the task. And of course, for a special weapon, we have the Bandos God Sword. Cerberus already has kind of low defense, so using a Dragon Warhammer here is not super useful, but how with the BGS works, it is a really good weapon for lowering its defense here. So let's actually go over an entire Cerberus kill. In the beginning, I drink my combat potion, turn my prayers on, and then I go in for the BGS spec. I should have had it on Crush here because I'm using Inquisitor, but for some reason I didn't have that. After that, you go in with your weapon, your Arc Light, your Scythe, whatever you're using, and you just kind of shred the boss. It dies really quickly. I also summon my Thrall, and there are really only two mechanics this boss has. One of them, the boss will say Gur, and you have to move from some puddles that spawn on the ground. The second one you will see probably in a second here, it will say Aru and it will spawn some spirits. So right here you can see that and they will have different colors. So you will start with the blue one from the left, playing magic, then melee and then ranged. So the red one is melee, green one ranged and you have to protect against them otherwise you take 30 damage every single one you miss and they also drain 30 prayer every single time you do them successfully. Oh, sorry, I forgot to show the collection log as well. I started with 506 kill counts. We've only done three kills, got nothing too special. You can see that in my inventory. The only items I've got in the collection log in these kills is the Keymaster Teleports, which is kind of guaranteed, and then the Primordial Crystal. No way! Oh my god, how many kills have I done? Uh, dude, <laughs> 
Hey, 9kc smoldering stone first drop pretty much at the end of this trip second trip by the way the scythe is absolutely incredible by the way it's like the first time i've ever using it here i used a hammer samuraki and hasta last time wow this is 5 million worth that is really good it has been a while, but that is actually the last kill of the task, and that was a milestone task, 870, and nothing really happened after that smoldering stone, but we did get a lot of extended kill count in from the bracelets of slaughter. Overall, the loot is on the screen right now. We did 173 kills for a total of 9 million loot, so so far it's going good, but no pigation crystal. Can we get lucky and get a 10% chance of a back-to-back -back with the slayer cape? Please, it would save so much time. We do not. Unfortunate. Hey, unfortunately not a collection log item. I already have this one. But meanwhile, trying to get another Hellhound task, we get a Drake's Claw. Oh, that looks so good on the ground. 1.7 million Abyssal Whip from a barraging a Abyssal Demon task, which is actually super good for tasks. It's good experience and very fast. You know, I've actually spent almost an entire day just spamming Slayer tasks, hoping to get a Hellhound task specifically in Taverly, from Konar because I wanted to try to get the brimstone keys I am working on a video for that as well but after doing so many tasks and not seeing a single hellhound task let alone one specifically in the Taverly dungeon I'm just going to be doing it from Duradel so no more brimstone keys from this entire grind and it should be way easier to get the tasks by the way if you're wondering you can get hellhounds in the Chrome Slayer dungeon, Catacombs of Current, Stronghold Slayer dungeon, Taverly dungeon which is the one I need or Witchhaven dungeon so five different locations and it's actually kind of a rare task in the first place. All right, there we go, 148 more Hellhounds. I actually took quite a lot of Slayer points, I have 128, and I also did three more tasks, so not super lucky, but we did finally get another one. Oh, that actually took some time. The first Elite Clue Scroll, it's one in 100, but that took me like a 180 kills, I think, so well over the drop rate. Oh my god, okay, we're catching up on the Elite Crew Skulls, I guess. That was like 40 or 50 kills later. Very nice. I do realize I haven't really shown much clips of me doing Cerberus, but uh, I am now at 300 KC for the video. The loot is on the screen right now. And the only really notable thing I got was the Smoldering Stone really early on. And then four Elite Crew Skulls, which is not that bad. It is definitely above drop rate with 1 in 100. But yeah, no other crystals so far, no pets, nothing like that. Just a small drink stone, but hopefully in the last 212 kills we can get something nice. Oh my god, look at the value of that. <laughs> 46,000 GP, but it's actually worth a lot more than that because that means I am winning this challenge. Getting to keep all the loot from this. And another collection log slot as well. And I don't have to try to get another task. Look, I had one left on the task. And all the loot that I got is on the screen right now. 14.2 million. But I do actually want to show you guys this. So on the rune light tracker, it does say that the smoldering stone is worth 5 million. But if I examine it, it will say 6.1 million. This one has been going up like 100k every single day. So I don't know why, but the Smoldering Stone was a good item to get early because it is just skyrocketing in price. But let's go ahead and open the four Elite Caskets that we got during this grind as well. I could complete all of them easily and we have done 47 Elites overall with 12 out of 59 Uniques unlocked. And the chance of getting a Master from an Elite Casket is 1 in 5. So we should technically be very close to getting one of them. But let's see how this goes. Let's go with the first one. And the first one is already a master clue scroll. So let's take a break already, complete this, open it. Hopefully we can complete it and then keep going. Usually I'm a bit nervous about master clue scrolls, but we could complete this one. Let's go to our bank and open it. When it comes to masters, I've only done 13 openings of them. And we only got two uniques, which is the samurai shirt and the bowl wig. So let's see, can we get another unique from this? We can. And oh my god, anguish ornament kit? Wait, I think that's actually worth a lot. Let's go to the game filter. 7.2 million GP. I mean, you can't complain with that. That is really good. Uh, that's pretty much half of the money I made from Cerberus. So that is very good money. Let's go ahead and keep opening the elites though. Can we get another master? First one, no master, 150k. No unique either. No unique in that one. 33k for an elite. That is pretty depressing. And the last one is going to be 
Nothing. 90k. Wow. Well, we at least made a lot of money from the Anguish Ornament Kit. Overall, 7.5 million, with the Anguish Ornament Kit being nearly 7 million. Now, when it comes to the collection log of Cerberus, we did unlock two more uniques, which is duplicating the uniques from the table I already had. I had the Primordial Crystal and the Key Master Teleports. We did get some more Key Master Teleports in this video as well, but I did use all of them to make the grind a bit faster. But we're still missing the Eternal Crystal, Jar of Souls, and the Pet. The most rare items, of course, being this Jar and the Puppy. But in the future, I can get those, maybe do an on-drop rate again for the Hell Puppy on a number 10th episode. I guess we'll see in the future. Now, let's be honest, that grind was a pretty quick one, so we're going for another one right away. The item we're gonna go for is the Gold Locks. It's a 1 in 61 drop rate from the Golden Chests, and the mini game we're going to be doing for the item is the Shades of Morton. So we need to get 61 golden keys and the way you actually get those is by using these fire remains which are actually 2.7k each. I'm going to be buying 300 of them and then also I need magic pyre logs and you have to burn these at the Shades of Morton minigame. You have a chance I think 1 in 6 to get a golden key and when we have 61 we will loot all of them and hope that we get the golden lock. It is a very simple process, I basically just use a Morton teleport, I use all of these to try to get the keys, and after that I teleport to Castle Wars, get 13 more of each, and how you basically do this is you put the magic logs on here, it has to be magic pyre logs, the fire remains, and then after that you light the funeral, you get some experience for doing this, 100 prayer and 404 fire making, and then you get a key, and it's 1 in 6 to get a golden key, which is the ones I need. And there it is, that is the first golden key, and as you can see it has a color name, it's red, and there are actually four other colors I think, but they do require like 95 fire making to get. The chances that they have for the golden locks is like 1 in 59 instead of 1 in 61, so not really worth it. You definitely have better and worse inventory runs, this time I got absolutely no key at all from 13 ones, but the first one I got 4 of them, so hopefully it won't take too long, I won't go too unlucky, and I might have to buy more of the shades actually, but that's not that bad, if I have to do like 400 instead of 300, it's not going to be a big deal. Alright, so we only have 4 more of each left, and I have 38 keys, which is a bit more than halfway, so I will definitely need to buy more, but uh, in terms of the other keys, I have a lot of silver keys, but I'm not really going to be using them, at least not for now, but uh, let's go and buy some new logs and fire remains and get the last keys. Another upside to this grind is that the experience you get from this is actually not that bad, and look at that, 86 fire making, and let's actually go here, I gained 31,500 prayer and 127 fire making in roughly like 1 hour and 10 minutes, something like that. So definitely not that bad. Hey, there we go. That is the last one. Let's actually go to the bank, put it in and see if we now have 61. I am pretty sure I needed 4 more and I got that from that last inventory. There we go. 61 golden keys. So it is time to open the chests. Now, because I have red keys, I'm going to be opening the ones with the red locks. I am bringing 15 keys because I don't really know if it's going to be taking up a lot of inventory slots, the items that I get from this. By the way, you can actually get the gold locks drop rate down from 1 in 61 from these chests down to 1 in 59 with a ring of wealth. But because there are other items I would also love to get, like the seals, boots, helm robe bottom and robe top which is a prayer boosting outfit which is one in 128 drop rate i'm just going to go with as many keys as possible for this grind so let's actually go ahead and open one of these chests and see what the loot is going to be like the first one is dragonstone ring and some swamp paste i guess if i spam this oh collection log item flame tier bag a very common item and there is actually other items as well on the collection log quite a lot of them so hopefully we can get that before we even get the gold locks, but I think regardless I'll open all of the keys just for the collection log items. Last key for the first trip, let's see what we get, and we get a rune long sword. Let's actually price check this and see how much this is worth, of course I do have to take out some stuff. That in the teleports, 280k, not great, I definitely spent more on that on the shades and the pyre logs. Oh, another collection log item, fine cloth. I don't think it's that rare actually to get that. It is one in six, so I've actually been kind of unlucky so far. Oh, Undead Cellot. Is this the one that actually drops the Cellot robes? 
Oh my god, if it is, it's actually kind of rare to get this. One in 128, I think. Bleached bones, and do I get an item? Oh. I do not. So, I guess that's not the case. Last key of the second inventory, and we get nothing. Apparently, you can actually use these bleached bones I got from that zombie on this altar right here, and it should give me full prayer. Let's see what actually happens. Yeah, there we go. I don't know what that's actually good for, but it is in the game. Oh, another collectional item, Amulet of the Damned. I think this actually has some value to it. How much is it? Oh. For some reason, I thought it was like 400k, but 35k, I, well, it, it's something, I guess. Now, the keys that I have in my inventory are the last ones for finishing the 61 key opening, and this is my current collection log. Amulet of the Damned, a flame tear bag, five fine cloth, no gold locks, no sellout items, and no bloody notes or tree wizard journal. These are the split bark armor, like recipes or what you would say. And uh, I have not got any of them. So hopefully we can get lucky on these 15 keys here and see one of the uniques. Another amulet of the damned. I think this is actually broadcasted in my clan every single time. Oh, I guess not. Only the first time, I suppose, because of the collection log slot. And we are down to the last four keys. Let's do them all on video. Two more to go. A dragon stone. Is that actually rare? Let me look that up. Well, okay. Not super rare, but it is 1 in 72, which is more rare than the gold locks. So that's kind of unfortunate to get on the second last. But we do have one more chance. Let's go ahead and open this. Can we get the golden locks on the last key? We cannot. So overall, here is all the loot that I ended up getting. 754,000 GP. One of the keys did not get tracked for some reason. Rune Light can be like that sometimes, but it is pretty close. 60 of them did get tracked, and I don't think one more would make that much of a difference in GP. But of course, that means I did lose this challenge, and I'm going to be giving away 10 million GP for doing so. So if you want to join the giveaway, the information on how to do so is on the screen right now. So good luck to everyone who wants to participate. But with that, I do want to thank Opera GX again for sponsoring the video. If you want to support my channel completely for free and try out Opera GX, click on the link in the description or in the pinned comment. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to subscribe, like the video, all that good stuff. And until next time, guys, take care.